we're going to do a little bit different grow this time. This is Brent in Central Arkansas, guys. And what we're going to do is what I'm calling a personal use tray. And this is where we're going to mix different types of microgreens and shoots together. And um, the intent behind this is to see if I can grow um, a complete house use. You know, every kind of microgreen that I like in one tray and that way I just rotate the tray on the amount of time amount of days I use it so if I if I grow one tray that has for example P which we're gonna do in this one some flower shoots and I'm gonna do broccoli and I'm gonna do radish all in this one tray uh, then I can use that tray it may take me three days to use that tray that way I know I can start a tray every three days and then I'll have a cycle of everything that I like. But I don't want it to be difficult um, at all by any means. I want it to be as easy as possible. So it's much better. The concept is better than growing like a whole tray of sunflower greens and feeling like I need to eat them um, within three or four days or they're going to go bad or whatever sitting in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I feel like this would be a little bit more uh, personalized uh, type of grow. So what I've got here is speckled pea and black oil sunflower seeds. I'm going to soak those and then after they're up for a while I'm going to plant at probably uh, three to four days. I have to check on the growth rates and all that harvest and all that and time it. I'm going to I'm going to do the uh, broccoli and radish. All right here we got uh, the peas planted and the sunflowers planted after being soaked. You can even see some of the peas have already got little bitty areas, <laughs> little bitty areas of tails starting. You look real close, so it doesn't take long. So this is what the peas and sunflowers look like now, and I put the Calabrese broccoli in there. Uh, before I put it in, I sprayed everything so the screen, whenever I sprinkled the seeds on, the the uh, seeds would stick. They don't bounce. They don't, well, they certainly don't bounce anywhere close to what they did if the screen wasn't wet. So, right now, we're going to let these grow uh, or start sprouting for about two days. Then we'll add the radish, and that'll be it for the personal mix. And this is what the personal use tray looks like now. I just planted radish. These are starting to come up. There's a little bit of uneven germination, but I think that'll all even out. The sunflowers are looking pretty good. A lot of the holes are coming off on their own, which I think is really good. The peas are coming up nicely. I couldn't put the cover on there anymore because the peas were starting to touch probably the sunflowers too. So I ended up putting a dome on it and I'll put that on to show you what it looks like. All right, that's what it looks like covered. And this is what personal use looks like now. We've got peas, uh, broccoli, radish, and sunflowers and I'm going to take uh, all the shake cloth off and we're going to do it completely with a humidity dome for now that's going to green up the peas and the sunflowers and make everything start uh, popping nice so here we go now we'll grow them in this and see what happens all right took the dome off today because the radishes are coming on strong uh, the broccoli looks really good it's up pretty good and of course the sunflowers and a bit yes I have been picking some sunflower seed tops off shells and the peas are looking really good so this is what the personal news looks like I figure it might be done like in two or three days uh, everything's looking nice hey everybody this is the finished product today I've got my kids coming over two of my three kids and there's significant others. Uh, one's married and one's got a boyfriend. And uh, yeah, I've got my microgreens here. I'm going to introduce it to them. This is the what I'm calling the personal use or the multi-batch uh, microgreens mix. And it's simply just like I probably mentioned, it's one tray. It's got uh, black oil sunflower seeds in it, speckled peas, uh, broccoli, and radish. So I'm going to attempt to um introduce these to the kids and uh, we'll add like a balsamic vinaigrette uh, my wife has also made all kinds of other little treats to snack on while we visit 
um, and they were doing a marathon, um, a Harry Potter marathon of all things. Love that, uh, love that show. Anyway, um, it's going to be a really neat thing here. We got lots of snacks. They're staying over, and uh, yeah, I'm going to introduce some of the two uh, microgreens. This is Brent, you guys. This is the finished product of the microgreens. This is what they look like. I'll show you the roots. There you go. Everything looks fantastic. It's another good no medium grow. We'll see you guys later.